10 questions Christians can answer easily. Ten questions Christians can answer. Question number one. When Noah's Ark landed, how did the kangaroos make it back to Australia? To number two. If the Ark was covered in pitch or tar to make it watertight, it also made it airtight. How did the animals survive more than one or two days living in complete darkness without any fresh air? Remember, the rain lasted 40 days and 40 nights. Noah couldn't open the window in the top. Question number three. Since Adam and Eve didn't know right from wrong before eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, why did God then punish them for something they didn't understand they were doing? Question number four. Why would God place a forbidden tree in the garden so close to his innocent creation and allow Satan to tempt them into eating from it, all the while looking on without doing a thing to prevent it? Question number five. When the women went to Jesus' empty tomb, was the stone already rolled away or did an angel roll it away after the women got there? Question number six. On the first day of the week, when Jesus rose from the dead, how many women went to the tomb, and which ones? Question number seven. If you believe the creation account in Genesis is mere allegory, then why don't you throw out Paul's epistles? Because he believed that the creation account was a historical fact. Question number eight. How many donkeys did Jesus ride in his triumphal entry into Jerusalem? Was it one donkey, like Mark, Luke, and John say? Or was it two donkeys, like Matthew said? Question number nine. Matthew and Luke both provide genealogies for Jesus, going all the way back to Adam. Using both of those lists, who was Joseph's father? Question number 10. Was Jesus crucified on the first day of Passover like the Gospel of John says, or the next day like the other three Gospels say?